und willkommen zu meinem Kinkiverse. subscribe. Hopefully, you are all alive and well. I've been on lockdown since February and refuse to leave my cave. Luckily, I'm a big fan of beans and rice so I should be okay for a while. It's so very sad to see how our government has absolutely failed us during this crisis. Corona. To talk more about this ongoing crisis and to bring some calm to us all. Is my twin, Charlie, the creator? <laughs> Welcome, Charlie. Whoa! Oh my god! The world is on lockdown! I've been watching this YouTuber, Peak Prosperity, since January. And everything he says, the mainstream says two to four weeks later. <sighs> it's because of him that I have any clue what's going on today. <laughs> With this coronavirus. But by now, I'm a fucking corona expert. All I gotta say is make your home a green zone. No one in and stay the fuck home. Anything you need, get it delivered. to stock up on your beans, your rice, and water, and especially that toilet paper for three months. <laughs> Lord Jesus, the government has failed us, and hopefully it's not too late for us all. Sending love and good luck to all of you. I hope I see you next time. Back to you, Kinky. That was absolutely insane. I feel like I've jumped into a parallel universe again. So, on a lighter note, I would like to go back to my roots, where I name five influential albums that were introduced to me in my younger years. <laughs> Let it grow. Back, back, back. Back to my roots. Back, 
Basically, their psychedelic album and their response to Sgt. Pepper's and my favorite Rolling Stones record for Dark Side of the Moon by Pink Floyd. I found this album in my mom's record collection shortly after she introduced me to the wonderful world of herbal jazz. Again, the album artwork plus the title drew me in, and I had to play it. So I smoked some ganja and threw it on the record player. This is definitely the peak of their musical genius in my opinion. I absolutely love conceptual albums, and this took me all the way to the moon. Three. Two Virgins. By John and Yoko. First off, I absolutely adore John Nena, and I've always been into weird arts. So when I discovered their relationship, I absolutely fell in love even more. And this album, with them naked, covered in a brown paper bag. How could I resist? It was always fun to put on and freak out my grandmother. <laughs> Two! Snowflakes? Are dancing by Aseo Tamita. This album instantly hit me right to my core, taking me to a mystical, magical winterland. And this was way before I ever got into classical music. So it even further blew my mind when I discovered they were all classical songs by Debussy and others. Still one of my all-time favorites to relax and smoke some ganja to. One. 
Elias of San Hilo. By John Anderson. Now this album was introduced to me by my uncle Daryl. I was a big fan of Yes, and he introduced this album to me, and he truly gave me a blessing with this piece. I don't think he realized how much it truly impacted me. I've listened to it a thousand times, and it still surprises me to this day. The lyrics combined with the backup vocals and the otherworldly music take me to a magical fantasy land and always brings a smile to my face. <laughs> Such a mystical, thought-provoking album, and truly dear to my heart. So that was my five albums of the night, and I hope you enjoyed it as much as I did. <laughs> if you are enjoying this show, please comment. I'm a dinosaur. So this has been a beautiful, fabulous, scary can crown. <laughs> and I absolutely love vibing with you all on this beautiful hour. <laughs> Please subscribe and hit that like button. Also, I would like to build a community on my Patreon. Oh yeah. So please visit my Patreon page at patreon.com slash kinky call. This way I can make better exclusive content and we can evolve together and it all starts with you. So please visit my Patreon today. Thank you for watching. And as always, I love you. Mm.